Hey guys, so let's see, bringing you another video. Now this is episode 13, I think, of the Gold Platinum series. This is the series where I'm taking an account through the ratings to show you guys kind of what each people kind of do, point out mistakes and all that jazz. Um, so we're in promotion series on, we're in Gold 3, we're in promotion series, and with our MMR, we're most likely, if we win this game, going to skip to Gold 1. Um... But there will be an annotation somewhere on the video if you do want to skip Champion Select. Normally it is above the uh, the client screen there. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll win. Obviously you guys know what I'm playing right now, but obviously I don't. Seems to be there's a duo bot lane they've just called, so I'm either going to be mid, top or jungle. That's fine with me. Um, but many people, if we just briefly talk about, a lot of people have said I want you to play other roles than mid or top. What a lot of people don't realise is... I'm no different to any of you guys at home. Um, I have my main roles, and you guys have made your main roles. I can play every single role, but obviously I have my preferred one. So if I can get top or mid, I'm going to try and get top or mid. After that, then it's probably jungle. After that, then it's bot lane. Like, bot lane is the least of my priority. Um, so that's kind of why, you know, AD carry or support has only been one game and there hasn't really been much jungle is because I am prioritizing my main roles, much like what you guys should be if you're trying to climb. You shouldn't be putting yourself or, you, you know, obviously I've been getting majority of my roles, but I've not been doing anything like extra. I'm literally just sitting in champion selects and I'm just getting my role. Maybe I've been lucky. I don't know. But, you know, like this game, there's a duo bot, so I'm going to probably get one of my main roles this game. So that's an interesting first pick of Viga mid, uh, instant lock. Or not instant, you know, just straight away lock. Um, with the popularity of Zed, Talon, etc. coming back, that is kind of a brave pick. Uh, but that, again, does mean that I'm either mid or jungle. So hopefully, you know, I'm in a, a top, I mean top or jungle. So Fizz, eh, Viga can do well against Fizz, but again, Fizz can do well against Viga if this Viga isn't very good. Um, so we'll have to see. So my thoughts of what I'm thinking of playing, if I'm top lane, I'm thinking about doing another Aurelia game or another Renekton game, because both when I've played them champions, they haven't been great games. The Renekton one was in the gold to platinum, uh, the unranked to gold series, and that wasn't a very good game. And then the Aurelia one, I think, was the last episode of the unranked to gold, and that was just a stomp because someone was AFK. So they are the two champions that I'm looking to play again at the moment. If I am jungling, um, if I'm jungling, I don't know what I play. Uh, maybe Elise. A lot of people have wanted me to play Elise, so yeah. So this Viger doesn't even mind if he goes top. That's... I wouldn't put a Viger top because majority of the stuff that will go top will absolutely crush him. Um, because a lot of them aren't APs and a lot of them don't really care about a little poke damage. But yeah. Um, if I was this Viger, I would also take Exhaust. Because if Fizz goes all, on, all in on him, he's most likely going to die. Um... So yeah, hopefully he swaps to uh, Exhaust, but I'm not going to say anything because a lot of people uh, have said in comments, you know, I shouldn't tell anybody anything, you know, advice or stuff like that, because, you know, normally they wouldn't get that advice. So to see how people would normally play, I'm not going to say anything. Um, so I'm going to just see what this Moonlight wants. I'm going to let him pick and I'll pick the other one. I'm not really fussed. Um, I'll play anything. So that's Jarvan top lane, I'd, uh, Jarvan jungle I presume, and Rengar top. Um, pick your lane. Um, just let him pick what he wants to do. If he's too late, then I'll pick something. Uh, is that Jack's jungle or Jack's top? Top. Okay, so I am jungling this game. We are going to do an Elise game. Only the game. spider is safe in her web. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I need to get a Elise page. So we will quickly find one of them. A lot of people also have said if I'm using any guides or anything like that, pl I please say whose I'm using. Um, so we're going to use... I tend to use Impalers. So we're going to use Impalers. He plays the Super Hot Crew. He is a fellow Brit. And I do talk to him occasionally. So I will use Impalers stuff. Um, wrong bit. There, there, there. Okay, so again, I probably don't have amazing um, 
Yeah, I don't have a skin. I don't probably have the best runes for this. Let's see. I've got a bit of armor, a bit of AP. Yeah, I don't have awesome runes, but it'll, it'll do. It'll, it'll be fine. Um, and then at least nowadays you max E after Q, I think. So, yeah. Okay, cool. <coughs> All good. So, excuse me if I do cough occasionally. Don't know what it is. I just have a little bit of an irritation in my throat. Uh, so, I will be coughing every now and then. Hopefully it doesn't get too annoying for you. And again, put your own music on in the background because that's what I tend to do. The reason I don't play my own music is one, copyright. And two, uh, because everybody has different music tastes. You have your own, I have mine. So put your own in the background, get the right level of audio levels and uh, enjoy your own music while uh, you, know, you watch this video if you want to. So anyway, Elise Jungle. Um, I used to play Elise a lot. I used to main it, actually, at one time. So I am familiar with the champion, although I haven't played it a lot since it got a little bit of a change. There is the avatar background that a lot of people seem to like. I will put down the imager um, library if people do and are interested in wanting one of them um, thingies. So let's bring over Lol Nexus. So welcome if you did skip champion select. I always give you the option and making sure that you can read every single one and now you can so here we go we have a predominantly platinum game that obviously shows that my mmr is probably around the low platinum level you know most of these people are platinum uh four you know i'm a gold three so the uh, enemy team they also have a gold three but they are duo queuing with a um plat five experience levels of people in this game the enemy has it by probably a little bit obviously i mine obviously uh, is a bit different than others uh, obviously i've played a lot of elise in the past although i've never played it on this account um but we've got an eight game viger with a fairly good kda we've got a 22 game vein nine game janice zero game elise but obviously i'm a bit of a lie on that one five game jacks eh, five games is not a lot but enemy team fizz 51 games brom zero rengar 27 uh jarvan only one and ash only four with actually not a very good kda and also she's using hecarim runes apparently um, so if I look into my opponent, who I'll be fighting in the jungle, he's got standard AD and he's gone 21-9. Fairly standard. One thing to note, he's gone into the cooldown reduction, not attack speed. Okay. Um, and... Uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, so I think I'll be able to duel him fairly early. The only thing I would say is, because my runes are not perfect, as you can kind of tell for yourself, uh, hopefully I'm not put behind at all, because I may s suffer um but like uh, every single video we get in new viewers and just to say if you're wondering how does Huz only have three normal wins is because i leveled up this smurf in aram uh, i love aram so i leveled it up in aram um so yeah and then i converted it to the the ranked account now that it is because i uh, part of me likes smurfing a part of me doesn't the, the part that doesn't is i don't want to kind of ruin players experiences especially in the lower ratings or when people are brand new to the game and that is the main reason why I leveled up in ARAM is I didn't want to go into normal games on a smurf leveling up and just stomp stomping every game. I, I just don't want to do that. Where smurfing, you know, it happens. That's one thing to say. You know, you can't tell just one person, stop smurfing, you're ruining everything because it's such a big thing nowadays. You know, professionals have three, four accounts in Challenger at a time. D several Diamond 1 accounts, you know, smurfing is a thing um so yeah it, it's something beyond me i'm doing it to kind of show you guys what the mistakes are of people that like you are probably around your similar rating and uh going through the climb of the rating so you can probably tell if you've watched the whole series the difference between unranked players and where we are now at like a platinum mmr um so yeah there, there has been a, a slight increase of level of play not massively i must add not massively but definitely decision making has improved and stuff like that so this Viger has zero resistances versus a Fizz. I would call that a mistake. But that's just me. I always would like to go in with a bit of defense against an Assassin. But yeah, Elise. Oh, the old Spider. I haven't played this in a while. But um, feels good to be back on her, honestly. So is this Viger warding over here? Because I normally ward in this bush, as many of you know. But it seems like he's just running there. So instead of warding over there, I will ward probably in just over here. Just to... Kind of go, you shall not pass type thing. So I'm going to ward there. Cool. Uh, Rengar is in top lane. Jax is fighting him. I wouldn't fight that. Like, if anybody comes, Jax is dead. But he is actually winning the trade right now. And he does have Ignite. It's just simple. If someone comes, Jax is screwed. Uh, but he did win that trade, which is kind of good. 
vein. Okay, she's back now. But again, that's an okay situation for Jax. The one thing good that Jax has done is he's burnt both health potions. And because he has the ignite advantage, that may go in his favor if they were to trade early on. The only bad thing, obviously, is Jax has ignite, Rengar has TP. And Rengar can still kill Jax early, even though he hasn't got Ignite. So hopefully that doesn't happen. I will be hovering around top lane. That's where I'll be going first. Um, but yeah, hopefully this Jax does okay. Because it's, it's a hard lane, definitely, for Jax. Um, Ignite hopefully will help him, though. But anyway, let's get started. So you start in human form on Elise, obviously, when you're jungling. Because then you can cast a spell. And when you cast a spell, you swap to spider form and your boom. And then you're straight on the damage in uh, melee form. Try and let your spiderlings tank it because obviously that gets a rid of some damage from you. One more hit. Smite. Now red buff should be able to finish this up fairly easily. Attack, attack, attack. Hit that. Off we go. Gonna go over and do wolves. Um, you know, top lane is the lane that I am worried about. Rengar again has put burnt a health potion with his base. He must have bought one. So Jarvan early on. I don't see Jarvan invading me at blue. Um, if he does, hopefully Viger slash Jax will be quick enough to come and uh, collapse on him. Especially Viger with Cage. We should be able to get a kill on him easily if he were to come. But he's not. Or well, not as yet anyway. Okay, get the Spiderlings to tank it. There is a fight going up in top lane. Jax is going all in on that kill. He's dead. Wow, nice. Okay, Jarvan hopefully will be in the area. We might even be able to kill him. So, hopefully I make it. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, da, 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 da. Jack, kill him. Oh, I missed. Okay, we came out of that trade miles ahead. I can kill this Rengar as well if he comes close. If he uses that on like on a Q, not a heal. Basically, I want to get Jax as fed as possible. And bot lane has just got a kill, so that's great. So I'm putting a lot of invested time into this top lane right now. But I think we can make it pay off. I'm waiting for Jax to come back into top lane. Jarvan may come straight back into top lane and try to get his buffs back. That's what I'm kind of thinking. But if, we, if I can stay in this bush, and yes, this is a lot of time wasting right now. But if we can get a kill straight on him again, um, then we can, you know, this, this lane will practically be won. Um, bam, we got another kill. That's pretty good. Just use a smite, help him push it more. Babysit more, yep, because it's a Jax. <laughs> Not even going to lie about that. I am getting my Jax snowballed. That's as simple as that. When you're a jungler, you have to know what lanes are going to win you the game. Honestly, you're a jungler. Junglers win the game in the respect of they make their lanes win the game for them. They get them so fed, so ahead, etc. that your laner is going to just carry the game. You know, that's how it works. And that's what I'm doing this game is I've picked Jax is going to be the lane that I'm going to make him win us the game. Um, I will be focusing mid probably uh, when I know Jax is perfectly okay. He's probably to that okay point now, just as long as Jarvan doesn't absolutely like camp the living hell out of him. But uh, we, he should be okay. Uh, mid lane, I'm worried that I, I'm still worried about Viger, but let's just put a little faith into him, I suppose. Um, and I'm gonna wait for boots. Perfect, perfect amount of gold that I based there. I got no potions, but oh, 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 okay. There was a good trade there. Just back. Like I don't. This is the reason. This is one of the thing. Okay, nice bet. Okay, I'll shut up now. Um, no, Jax, you're not looking. Look at the minimap. God, like, he literally didn't look at minimap at all. Eesh. 
Okay, yeah, that Viga. I don't know why a lot of people stay at that type of health. That Fizz did make a small mistake. He didn't realize that Viga still had heal. So well played to Viga, I suppose. He proved me kind of wrong. But again, that was very risky. Like, extremely risky. Um, which I probably wouldn't do the risk. Especially in Diamond, anything can happen. Bad things can happen. I would probably not do that risk. Okay. Oh, Brom just came back into lane. What I was playing there, it was run through tower, repelled to her, and I would have probably been able to get a kill. This bot lane seems they're absolutely dominating here, though. Oh, that's a mistake by me. Balls. Oh, so bad. I didn't expect Jarvan. We should have really expected him. Damn, that timing. Okay. Vision Ward. Balls. That gave up a little bit or quite a bit of pressure that they had in mid lane. Oh, Viger's probably dead, honestly. Like, this matchup is so against Viger. What the hell? Anything, okay, I'm going to continue saying Viger's going to win this lane because I think he's just doing it to prove me wrong. Even though he can't hear me, every single time I've said, oh, this isn't going good for Viger, he's got a kill. It's like, seriously? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, that's just funny. God damn. Yeah, please die, thank you. Because Viger's gone back to buy, I'll just do a full clear. I so oh, I can't believe it like that. I know Viger's damage is absolutely like insane, but I just because I don't see them that often. Maybe I'm underestimating how much he's going to do, especially because this Fizz is tower diving quite often. Um, yeah, weird, totally weird. Funny though. Okay, keep killing. Might go up to top lane get Jax another kill. Because I do have a pink ward, and that's one thing to say. That the reason I've got a pink ward is, one, I can place it around the map, but I can probably easily get quite a successful kill. Okay, Viga did a really nice gate there. You coming, bud? Okay, he's not coming. I'll just take it. If you don't get there in time, I'm going to take it for myself. Bum, 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 bum. He's back. Holy hell. Four bot lane. Kill it, Vayne. No. Oh, nice dodge. Alright, that was four bot then. Rengar. OTP. I'm running bot lane to try and help clean or save the tower or something. Okay, I can't really do anything by myself because they'll probably just simply kill me. So, bomb. They may have done dragon there. So, they get one kill for four bot lane. That's not, like, that bad. And they didn't even get dragon. So, yeah, they, they didn't gain actually that much considering everything. Um... Potentially can get a kill here. Viga, again, he's in trouble. Will he be dead? Maybe not. Okay, he's not dead. So low. No. Oh, dragon, dragon, dragon. They're top. So as soon as I saw Jarvan top lane, bam, go do dragon. Like, And we got bot lane out of bot lane. So this is just like a perfect time. If Jack survives, this is just a perfect situation. Fizz is here.
I don't know why Fizz would try to steal that. Ah, I didn't want to take that. Balls. I didn't cancel my auto attack in time. That's annoying. But yeah, we got a dragon. Jack survives and we got a kill. Like, hey ho, that's a good situation. Um, so when you're playing jungle and when you're playing League of Legends in general, really, everything is about weighing up risks and rewards. And like that bot lane when we died under tower, that was just stupid of us. You know, I didn't take in consideration that Jarvan would be bot lane because his blue buff was up. That was just me derping around. When normally, think everything through. You know, that's one people that are low yellow don't tend to do. They don't think, hang on, it's this time in the game. That's when buffs are coming up. Their jungler could be at the blue buff. That's what I normally do. <clears throat> and obviously I didn't do it at that time. So I'm going to go back to buy. I would like to gank bot lane right now, but I still need to keep relevant in my item choices. So I need to go back and buy every now and then. And yeah, going back and getting the item. There's a Rengar gank with his ultimate. So that is a, probably going to be a dead Viga. Okay. All summoners burnt. Rengar no flash. Fizz no flash, etc. So this Jax isn't doing a very good job on, on containing... The Rengar, honestly, he could be doing a better job, but it is hard to kind of contain a Rengar. He's got his ultimate. If you're a mid laner and there's a Rengar in the game, pretty much always expect a mid lane gank. You know, that is one thing to say. I need to go bot lane. Spider form again increases your movement speed just to tell you if you're unaware. Oh my god, I'm on my way. They're just doing like four man ganks like all over the place this game. Reng okay, Jack's got... Oh, okay. Here's Jarvan. Okay, I got the kills. Hopefully Viger... Oh, this guy! Okay, this guy... Uh, props to this guy. He does actually hit his cage pretty much every time. Bam! We get a kill. Nice. Very nice, clean... I managed to obviously get a few kills. Viger comes and cleaves the rest. But Jax kills uh, the, the Rengar 101. Perfect situation. You know, obviously it's sad that Vayne did die, etc. And Janna, but we did make something of it. Which is great. You know, it is, it is exactly what we kind of wanted. Um, I'm going to buy Sorks. And I'm also going to buy a Sight Stone. Sell that into, not that, into a Sweeping Lens. So now I'm going to go over red buff. Do the buff rotation again. Um, yeah, yeah, I wanted to give it to you before, but you didn't come. I always keep forgetting that we've actually got these timers up here. So I'm going to do... Uh, I did. So do this. Missing Fizz, so he could be anywhere. I don't really know. Was that? Okay, Jax is just absolutely... Did that die? Yeah. He's absolutely wrecking this Rengar. So, my t my decision to go top lane early to help get Rengar fed, or Jax fed, great idea. You know, it's going to probably help us win the game. And, yeah. Just, again, when you're jungling, um, just go in your mind of exactly what is the best option in the lane phase to get fed. There we go. So I think I'm just going to wander into the enemy jungle and ward up. That's why I get Sightstone on junglers like Lee Sin on a release just to create a little bit of map pressure. There's Fizz lane and Fizz in the bot lane and Jarvan and Jarvan. Janna, oh, you're crazy. So well, now that I know Jarvan's bot lane, I can use this time to like take his red and all this. Just hopefully, okay, they don't survive. Like, they are pressuring bot lane a lot, but we are getting things from it. You know, I'm getting his red buff. They got one tower. We've got now mid tower. Jax has already got top lane tower, obviously. And I'm going to come in here and help Viger try and take this down. Ugh. Rengar, I presume, is coming, yeah. Goodbye. Oh, Ash. Ash, no flash. Damn, we could have got at least one more kill out of that. Just it was a bit disjointed. Um, I'm uh, going to get a chain vest. 
Going to probably build it into a Randuins now. Just get a bit of beefiness in there. Uh, but this game is going fairly well. We have late game in abundance. We've got a Viger that will one-shot anything. We've got a Vayne who's Vayne. We've got a Jax who's Jax. And we've got a Janna that can help people, like, help get people off Vayne. And we have an Elise that is just generally strong. So, Viger, I'm surprised... Okay, he doesn't have ult. I was like, I'm surprised he doesn't go and just kill the Vash. Oh, God. Bye. God, they're such, like, a roaming team. It's amazing. We need some help, though. Like, three people in mid. Janna should come bot, or come mid, because there's no point Janna just being there if Vayne's simply just farming. And they, yeah, they're not even going to get a kill. Like, ugh. We need help. Why is nobody helping? There's a Rengar TP. No. Damn. But they need to just be a little bit more team reliant or team occupied this game they were very much alone there when they should have been with us but that is a dead ash boom dragon has respawned we should just go get that because if we force a fight right now jarvan will easily die um so yeah we'll go do that uh, jax is in the area as well which obviously is a bonus um oh fizz also is in the area Okay, there they are. Okay, we can't do it now. Okay, keep fighting. That's a Nash Arrow. That's a Jarvan. He just went straight into the Viger field. Nice. Free Dragon. Their blue buff is up, I believe, as well. I'm going to run up this way. Maybe cut Fash, I don't know. Okay, that isn't up. Well, Ringo was there. This should be a dead Ringo. Okay, I didn't even get an assist. That guy went boom. Enemy red buffs up in a minute. There is a fight going on. No, there's no minion. No, oh, I'm dead. Damn, that was a bit of just overstay. Hopefully Vayne survives. It would be bad if she does die. Okay, cool. We did get dragons, so they can't get that. Like, you know, Not that bad. Just they probably will push mid. But Jax is actually doing a very good thing. Jax has actually pushed up the mid wave. So the enemy team can't go into mid straight away. They're going to do blue buff. Which hopefully we'll get vision of when they kill. So we get the timer. Uh, but yeah, that was just a bit of an overstay. That was a bit of a derp moment there. Jax may go up and kill said Rengar. Um, maybe. Yeah, look, there's no competition. Dead. Yeah, that... <laughs> I am happy with my decision to go top lane quite a bit early on. Fizz is in top lane. He ain't gonna kill him. I hunt, I'm pretty damn sure... Yeah, that I thought that was gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> so this game probably is over. <laughs> so, uh, at the end of this game, I will not stop the video when uh, simply the victory screen comes up. I'll stop the video on the... Um, the screen where you like find out how much I got promoted. So we'll actually see, do I get gold one or do we just get gold two? You know, we'll have a look. Uh, my team is just pushing mid. There's an ash arrow. It's not really going to do much. Big wave down bot lane. And because my team's pushing so much, I want to get pressure in this lane. So I'm going to push it up. Try to get it near the tier two. By the, by the time my team is backing out, because if they back out and I'm up here, it means that they can just rotate and we get another free tower. Um, so hopefully that will be a thing. This Viger, again, honourable mention to this Viger. He's he's getting his, like, cages 
they're like bob on every single time. So that's Ashno Flash. She tried to slow the vein enough for somebody on her team to catch. Unfortunately, obviously my team won't be in the area to um Okay. Alright, there's more people than I thought. Do 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 so I should be fine. If Rengar comes for me, I probably will be able to kill him. He's really weak right now. He's only got a Hydra. Oh, it's Fizz. Cool. I played that all right. We've got a legendary Jax up top lane. Yeah. Jacks. It's just a ridiculous champion. <laughs> Gonna wait for my Randuins. Perfect time to base. He's working on the base turret. My team's going down lock that lane for the tier two. Really nice pressure. My team came when I needed them there, so that was nice of them to back me up. Gonna go over and take the blue buff. Jax will probably go over and take the red. Uh, my my team is gonna take the tier two. So again, this game is going perfectly. Uh, everything about it is going well. Um, you know, this game, I'm not, you know, my score is 3-5. I've died more than I've killed, but I've set up a great game. I've managed to get us in the lead. We've got a 10-0 Jax, which I do take credit for partially because obviously I got the the first blood for him and um, then stayed around for a very long time. You know, I invested a lot of time into that um, Jax and it did pay off, which is good. So my team, maybe they have overstayed. Jax needs to just spam push that to create pressure. So there isn't like three or four down in bot lane. I'm just doing a bit of farming right now because I haven't farmed enough this game. You know, I've been creating so much pressure. Like Jarvan is 105 farm. He's more farm than me. Um, so yeah, I do need to just do a bit more farming. Um, Jarvan has actually done more cut kill participation than me. Jarvan's been involved in 14 out of the uh, 16 kills they have. So Jarvan has like really a good kill participation. Well, obviously at the early game I did, but then... I didn't need to anymore. My team got fed enough. Um, Viger, he, yeah, he's not going to be in trouble by Rengar. Maybe. Oh, I actually am surprised. Okay. Wait a minute. Rod of Ages, Viger. That is not what I would deem a very good build. Um, Rod of Ages is good for those tanky uh, ADs that basically love to be in the middle of a fight. That I need that extra stats, etc. But Vyga is not one of these champions. So I wouldn't build Rod of Ages on Vyga. You know, DFG rush on him is probably the smart thing to do. So, yeah, that, that's interesting. I think Jax has just found out that we are um, doing Baron. He was going to queue over too. We can just push into the base, probably. Ugh, so much slows. Vayne is still chasing Jarvan, may I add. Uh. And there is a win. So anyway, that is the win. That This has been at least Jungle. Fairly successful game. But now we're going to see where we do get promoted. So here we go. Um, as I said, stay around for the next couple of seconds. And we will see. So, moment of truth. Da -da. So we are gold three at the moment. And now we are gold one. So we did skip. So we went from gold five to gold three. Gold three to gold one. So the series is probably coming to an end fairly soon. Um, but anyway, there we go. That has been Elise Jungle. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time. So goodbye.